we're going to look at some single displacement or replacement reactions because they're all redox. Um, in order for a single replacement reaction to occur, the element that is replacing one from the compound must be more active than the one it's replacing. And um, for a metal, metals are more active if they give off electrons because that's what metals do. That's their property is to lose electrons. Um, so for a metal, more active means So a more active metal forms a cation. Remember cation is the word for a positive ion. Okay, so it becomes more active if it's losing electrons. For a nonmetal, nonmetals tend to attract electrons. So for a more active nonmetal, it's going to form an anion. And normally the anion and cation that are formed are in a compound. So how do we know which um, element is more active? Well, it's not simple. Um, for halogens, actually it's fairly simple that higher on the periodic table is more active, like fluorine is the most active halogen. But for the metals, it's pretty complicated, and so we have activity series lists that tell us which one's more active. Let's look at an example problem. We're going to look at this single replacement reaction and analyze um, what's being oxidized and reduced and so forth. Um, the first thing we do is assign oxidation numbers, but I just want to point out that for nitrate, those oxidation numbers will always be the same for the two elements. Oxygen is always minus two, just by our oxygen rule. And so in the case of nitrate, since it has to add up to minus one, this nitrogen is plus five. Okay. And that will be, this will be true in both situations. So I'm not going to worry too much about that nitrogen since it is not um, going to change. Let's look at the copper and silver. They are the ones that are being oxidized and reduced. So um, assigning oxidation numbers, this copper is zero because it's by itself as an element. Um, and so same with this silver. And then um, for this compound, the silver nitrate, I know the charge of nitrate is minus one. So this silver must be plus one. And I can do something similar here. Nitrate is minus one. This must be a copper two. I notice this chemical equation is not balanced um, and it doesn't matter for what we're doing. Okay, so I assigned the oxidation numbers. Now I need to decide what is being reduced and what is being oxidized. I always look for what is reduced first, um, whose oxidation number is decreasing, and it is the silver. Okay, and then the oxidation number that's increasing is the copper. Okay, so we did that. What type of reaction is this? We already said it's a single replacement or displacement. Okay, and which, which metal must be more active? So the more active metal um, is the one that ends up oops, ends up more positive or as a cation or it ends up um, in the compound. And that would be the copper. Let's do one more thing while we, while we have this um, up. And that is, let's look at the agents. What is the oxidizing and reducing agents? Well, copper is being oxidized. What is, re what is oxidizing copper? The silver. It is what's causing the copper to be oxidized. 
silver is being reduced. What is causing the silver to be reduced? The copper. And there we have it.